Hello, TNIC families and staff. Dr. Irving here with a special end of the year message before we enjoy our summer break. You'll be receiving an email from me regarding some of our end of the year accomplishments over the past school year, despite the pandemic, as well as our plan for the fall and beyond. I hope you take the opportunity to read this letter as I am exceptionally proud of what we've accomplished together during the second year of our district strategic plan implementation, including number one, the grand opening of our new Theodora Smiley Lacey School, serving approximately 180 kindergarten students and our new central office district administration building located on Teaneck Road across the street from Holy Name Medical Center. Number two, We've also made important improvements to many of our academic programs, including special education, career pathways at the high school, and revamping our gifted and talented program, which will begin next year. Lastly, we will continue to improve our overall communications. In fact, this September, you will see a new and improved district website, and we are introducing mobile apps for all of our schools starting this September. As we look towards this fall, I want you to know that we are especially committed towards reacclimating our students to their respective schools. We know this has been a difficult year and many of our students have not been inside a classroom since last school year. To that end, I've invited Ms. Keisha Golden Cooper, our Director of School Counseling, to share a few words on our upcoming social and emotional plans for students, staff, and family. Keisha, come on in. How's it going? Good, thank you, Dr. Irving. Keisha, take it away. As we look towards welcoming our students in the fall, it's important to ensure that a plan is in place to support their social, emotional well-being. Beginning this summer, students will have the opportunity to participate in lessons and or activities centering on positive coping skills, building resiliency, peer group relations, grief and loss, and transitioning back to school. Parents and guardians will also have an opportunity to participate in sessions aimed to increase their engagement of families in understanding, informing, supporting the social emotional well-being of their students. This will take place as, as a component of the Impact Academy. Additionally, the Mental Health Initiative clinicians will continue to support students and families in grades K to 8. The forum staff will also provide counseling services to our high school students and families. I'm excited to also introduce two new initiatives that will yield positive results for our school community. First, Wellness Wednesdays, which will focus on SEL and mental health sessions and activities for our school community, students, staff, and parents. Beginning this summer and extending through the school year, the sessions will support students and families with resources that can help them maintain their physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Next, Parent University, a district-wide initiative to increase parent engagement and provide support to our parents. Parents will be able to earn points for participating in their child's school and or PTO, PTA activities. This is a fun way for our schools to encourage and reward parents for active engagement in their children's school. At the end of the year, parents will receive recognitions and rewards for their participation based on parent involvement level earned. But that's not all. Our staff will also receive training on youth mental health first aid. Youth mental health first aid teaches how to identify, understand, and respond to signs of mental illness and substance use disorders in youth. This six hour training gives adults who work with youth the skills they need to reach out and provide initial support to children and adolescents ages six to 18 who may be developing a mental health or substance use problem and help connect them to the appropriate care. By June 30, our school counselors, forum staff, and safety officers will receive the training. Plans are being made for additional staff to be trained this summer and next school year. The training will also be made available for parents. More information to come. Our students, grades 6 to 12, will also receive training on how to identify the signs of depression and suicide in themselves and their peers. SOS, Signs of Suicide, is a universal school-based prevention program. The evidence-based student training takes just one class period and has shown a 64% reduction in self-reported suicide attempts. Through a video guided discussion 
and brief screening for depression, students are encouraged to act, acknowledge, care, and tell when worried about themselves or friend. I am proud that our district has made the commitment to support our students, staff, and parents and look forward to working with you as we continue to make the difference in the lives of our students. Thank you. Back to you, Dr. Irving. And thank you so much, Ms. Golden Cooper. I am confident that these programs will help us get off to a great start this fall and enable us to have a successful school year. Finally, before I conclude, I want to just remind all of our parents and staff that we've made special arrangements through our partner at Holy Name Medical Center to have our staff, parents and guardians, and our students ages 12 or older to receive the COVID-19 vaccine on designated Thursdays at the Rota Center. Please see the district website for more details. I highly encourage you to take advantage of this great opportunity and enjoy a healthy and safe summer. In closing, I wanna thank you to our students. I wanna thank our families and especially our amazing teachers and staff members for all of the hard work that we've done in this extraordinary year. Together, we have and will continue to show everyone what we mean by the Teenage Advantage. Thank you and enjoy your summer break. We all deserve it.